Hi everyone, today's video is going to be about movies I've seen in August. So the first movie I saw in August was Edmund, which came out in 2005. With Edmund, it was my first time watching it in August. A subscriber actually recommended me this movie. So thank you Aheo John 8444 for recommending me this movie. I liked how different and gritty this movie is. I'm the type of person that when I'm seeing a horror movie, thriller movie, or drama movie, I like to come up with my own theories on what's going to happen. And that's exactly what I did with Edmund. And throughout the movie, my theories kept changing on what could possibly happen. I'm not going to share any of them, just in case you guys would like to come up with their own. One thing I will say though is that I'm pretty good at coming up with theories that turn out to be true. But with this movie, oh man, I was absolutely wrong. With each theory I came up with, it was just wrong. And by the end of the movie, I was just like, oh my god, I can't believe I didn't guess the right ending. So I really appreciate how this movie has so many twists and turns. You don't know what's going to happen. And just like me, I, I thought I knew what was going on or what was going to happen, but I, I played myself. <laughs> The second movie I ended up seeing is Red Eye, which came out in 2005. This is going to sound crazy, but this is absolutely true. Red Eye, for me, is a childhood classic. I remember watching this movie many times as a kid. And while I was re-watching it, I told myself, oh my god, I can't believe I was allowed to see this movie. It's not a bad movie or extremely graphic, but it just caught me off guard that I was allowed to see this movie as a kid. One other thing I would like to mention is that this is just one of my all-time favorite thriller movies. It's definitely in my top 10. And even though I've seen this movie about 100,000 times, it still makes my heart race. And that's when you know it's a really good thriller movie. The third and final movie I saw in August was Vamp, which came out in 1986. For Vamp, I have to give a shout out to Nymphia Wynn of RuPaul's Drag Race Season 16 for showing me this movie. She didn't actually show it, but she did an inspirational look based off Grace Jones' uh, outfit. When it comes to 80s horror movies or 80s dark comedy movies, I'm a sucker for them. And for Vamp, I'm a sucker for it. The male characters are really hilarious, but my favorite character out of all three is Duncan. Duncan is just so adorable, and you can tell that he's really trying hard to fit in or trying really hard to make friends. But at the same time, his personality is just so adorable and so funny. The stuff that comes out of Duncan's mouth is so random and unexpected and that makes him extremely funny, in my opinion. One more thing I would like to mention before I end the video is that this movie is a really fun watch and extremely underrated. This movie is not spoken about a lot and hopefully that'll change. So I highly recommend this movie. It's a great choice to watch for when it's like a dark cloudy day or now that fall is right around the corner. I highly recommend this movie or you can even watch it during the month of October. So that's it for today's video. I hope you all enjoyed it. Please don't forget to like the video, comment if you have seen any of these three movies and your opinion on them, if you like them, if you hate them, if you love it. Whatever your opinion is, please let me know. I would love to hear it. And please don't forget to subscribe to my channel because it really helps me out a lot. I hope to see you all in my next video and I hope you all have a great and safe day. Bye.